The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. I ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Stay drunk all Oh, come on now, you all don't feel like that. Ah, <laughs> there you go. There you go. So guys, this these are my hands. This is what you see all the time. And we usually don't, I never do. I think this is the first time, isn't it? That I've done the facial thing. Yeah. 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 And the, the other day with Blackhawk, I tried to um, do like a little thing with that build and I missed my head, which is probably okay. You know, so <laughs> I need to shave that fucking eyebrow. Anyway, so bam. Um, Guys, uh, this is going on both of our channels. Right now it's live with Chris's on his, I believe. Mine's going to, yep. be, mine's going to be posted later. And um, it's been a hectic, hectic fucking week, which it always is. And yep. uh, I've decided to, and I'm going to ramble a little bit. What I'm going to do here so you guys know what's going on, I'm going to be switching the um, camera back and forth so you can see Chris when he's talking and you can see me. And... Uh, but one of the things that I wanted to do on my channel, and I think Chris might do it with his too, because he's got a lot of buddies he flies with. I only have one. Matt's here. Cool. Matt's in. Awesome. What's up, buddy? What's up? Um, I want to do a thing every week now because I decided that my rants are not that fun, you know. So <laughs> what we're going to do is, and this is Chris and I because we're brothers, and we're going to do this first one because both of us are idiots when it comes to the video thing. Excuse me. So, um, every week I'm going to do what's called the Roto Rant, and I'm going to ask one of my buddies, and Chris and I will probably do it a lot, um, Matt and Quadfather, anybody, whoever, you know, you, you guys know who you are, you know, that we, we do this with. Um, and uh, next week, actually, and I just want to get this out real quick, is going to be Zebra FPV, our military brother. Nice. Bam. So, it's going to be him and me. He's like, oh, fuck, I'm nervous, you know, and I'm like, dude, it's me. You know, whatever. Um, and one thing, real quick, before Chris takes this over. So that's going to be every week. This is my new mounted. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is, for those of you guys that follow my stuff, um, uh, Blackhawk and I did the Zebra PV build, which is the Hellbender, like one of those up there. And my brother sent me this flag that flew overseas in the Middle East. And uh, I had Mama pick up this beautiful box, and it is sitting on top of my um, my pipe case in my dining room. And nice. at, yes, you've seen my pipe case. It's fucking bad. Oh, yeah. um, and it's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. And I, I put the certificate, not the certificate, the, the piece of paper saying what it is in the back. And I'm just, and I, I, I showed him first. I sent him a message right away and I'm like, this is just the, one of the most sentimental things I own. And I absolutely love it. So I wanted to show you guys everything here with this and just bam, just fucking awesome. Oh. And my old, la my old lady said bam today. How fucking funny is that, right? You got so. me saying that. I was doing it too. I'm looking down at my hands and doing stuff. And I was like, bam, that was for JJ. <laughs> right? You can't help it. You can't help it. I was flying and doing it. I crashed into a train. And I was like, bam. <laughs> I done that crash. You know, that's, that's, um, that's probably where I fucking got it. Honestly. That's, that's, um... But my old lady comes in the bedroom today. I, I'm, I'm working on a buddy's drone that I'm building for him. And, uh... She comes in, she goes, she's starting her own little business up with some stuff. And she goes, bam, check this out. And I'm like, ha, <laughs> you've been roto-geeked. <laughs> How cool is that? So, I've talked enough. You talk. Oh, God, there's so much to start with. I mean, I would ask you, what the hell got you started into this? Did you do planes? I mean, what got you? Hey, look, is that my radio hanging? Yeah. Hey, no, that's know. mine. Yours is over there next to it. Same thing, though. Okay. Uh, but while we're on topics of radios, woo, it's green. Tyrannus, I, I finally got on the Tyrannus train today. All I need now is thirty receivers, and I'm done. <laughs> what started me? Um, okay, I'm 43 years old, right? Born 1974. I got a. I've always loved 
electronics and whatever else. And, and those of you that know me, I'm a robotic engineer by trade. I have a very high tech career. And, um, but that's neither here nor there. But as a kid, I got into electronics by building my own guitar amps because I'm a big guitar player. That was like my thing. I went to music school, did, you know, all this sort of stuff. And um, I got into RC when I was a you know, little kid, little guy. And uh, in 1987, something like that, there was this Kyosho Ultima dirt car, right? And you wow. built, you, yeah, right, fucking bad. Oh, smoking hot wife, you better come out here and say hi. Uh -oh. Say hi. Ew, she's so shy, but she's so hot. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, My wife does the same thing. I put her up on camera and she just blocks her face. Didn't even try. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, back then, uh, she's walking through here. She's naked and she's like, don't say anything. It's like, naked chick in your garage, really? I'm getting donuts out of the car. Oh, she's getting donuts out of the car. Okay, wait, anyway. Um, yeah, in case you guys didn't know, the, the workshop is in the garage here. But anyhow, um, back in 87, 88, something like that, I got the, the Kyosho Ultima, Futaba radios, all that stuff. And then I was raised on a lake, so I got into gas-powered radio control hydroplane boats. And uh, always loved things that flew, you know, but I was terrible with a plane. I tried a plane once when I was younger. Fucking forget about it. You think I'm bad with a quad? You see me with a fucking airplane, dude. It's a bit bad. And um, I got a couple that's all we're about. Oh, yeah. Fucking forget about it. I, sh I should meet them. Um, so, anyhow, <laughs> about three or four years ago, I'm at a hobby shop. I'm out on the road doing my job. And uh, I go to the hobby shop, and I bought one of those little $30 fucking... Those things that you like. What are those? Not Whoop, but it was it was like that. You know, one of those little... Yeah, yeah. And about $40,000 later, you know, here we are. And um, that's really what got me into it. it, honestly. I mean, how about you? What'd you do? Well, I've had a dream of flying since I was a little kid. It was it started with dreams and stuff like that, and uh, I got to fly in a plane when I was about 18, a little Cessna or something, the guy let me fly it. And it was weird because I wasn't scared because it felt like I'd flown my whole life. And then, you know, I did the RC car thing and got extremely bored with it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, I found the Chief, I think it was a SEMA X5 or something like that. <laughs> right, right, right when I met my wife, and... Um, I flew that thing around and I actually hated it. I was so confused because left is right, left is left and right is right. As soon as you turn, everything goes out the window and it just, it, it screwed me up. It probably wasn't, you know, really good quad stuff. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Listen to cigars. Go. Cigar guy over here, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I struggled through it. I learned how to fly and then once it clicks, like I tell everybody else I'm teaching to fly now, once it clicks, you figure it out. You're like, holy shit, this is fun. So I started pushing myself and pushing myself, and this was just a crappy level mode thing. I went full tilt, as fast as the thing go, try to go around the house and hit a tree and explode it. I mean, parts everywhere. <laughs> I wasn't discouraged. I'm like, that just means I start the process of becoming insane and buying another one and buying parts. I went from the Parrot, AR Parrot, and all these other ones and shit. It just, it just got worse. And then I bought my Storm Racing drone, which is oh, collecting nice. dust. That was a good one. <laughs> that thing's still collecting dust. I'm, I, I want to sell it. I want to blow it up. I want to fly it because it's the dopest looking thing on the planet. But uh, I'm just so frustrated. So my buddy Simeon, which is a fellow pilot, he's going to help me gut it. And we're just going to start from bone scratch because I don't want to throw that frame away because nobody has it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. we'll see. And, you know, now, and then, you know, it was all out of sight. And then uh, once I picked up that TV, and if it wasn't for the tiny wolf, which you will own, which you will own, sir, if it wasn't for the tiny <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, you have one. Wait, wait, wait. I got to pause you because you and me are going to fly, right? I live in Ohio. You live in Connecticut, but I travel for a living. So I'm going to come over there. And your little tiny whoop fucking thing. Wait, wait a second. Uh, where is it? See, I make, I used to make these. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, very familiar. Now, what this is, is a Spectre frame. You buy it like seven bucks. This is a brushed quad. I have a box of these fucking things, right? <laughs> and I do. Ask, ask Blackhawk. Um, because the beginning of summer, it was like, when was it last summer? It was a lot of drinks ago. I remember that. But, um. Old age. Yeah, right? 
It's not how old you are, it's how many miles you have on the clock, and I got a lot of fucking miles. But anyway, before the micro brushless thing got big, um, the brush thing was big, like that little, that shit you fly. And um, <laughs> this is, I, I buy just this body, it looks like a little Saima type of thing, but this is a yeah. 1S, a 1S uh, Omnibus F3 with OSD, 1000 TVL oh, line, uh, 15,000 R- or KV motors. Um, That's where it's at. Yeah, this thing will eat the shit out of yours. But because, because you can... size difference? Come on now, you can't go through the chairs and the bowling alley. The bowling alley will... Are you fucking kidding me right now? Look, that that is like twice the size of Barwell's Pecker. That... That's small, okay? It's but kind of looks about the size of yours. It's like but, that big. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I, I've been cool. thinking about you. I built a 1S Jasonified Whoop. I like the props. That's beautiful. <laughs> I cut those down. Oh, shit. Oh, now it's broken. No, if it can't handle that, it can't handle me. But well, I've seen how you fly, so I mean, you're good. <laughs> I build way better than I fly. We all know that. Oh, PDD moment. I mean, because we got the world. The the thing that you did at the graveyard and you were talking paranormal. I've been oh. doing that shit for 10 years. And the stories I can tell you of when you connect with something that you can't see, you know, it's just, it's spiritual. It happens. The Zoltan. fact you got a quad down is I know I've gotten shit stuck in a tree. They don't come down. Yeah. They don't. It's stay there. Dude, that fucker, that was my fly egg. You can't see it, but on the shelf... Right here, the whole shelf is lined with micros. And um, yeah. yeah, I was just, and I, I should repost that video because when I did that video, I think there was only like 75 people watching my shit. And then, and nobody looks to your old stuff, thank God, right? And um, and uh, yeah, I just, I called my wife right away. I'm like, this is the coolest fucking thing. So if you guys are curious about what we're talking about, it's the coolest fucking day I ever had flying. And it's called uh, the best day I ever had flying. It's way down there on the list. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I, I I built my explicit FPV whoop eater. Bam! Yeah. Look at that shit. You Guess can't what? Even the, put that in the category. It's too big to be a whoop. It is not. Look, it's Are you kidding me? Fucking. What size? What, what would you call that? Like an eighty or ninety millimeter? Um. What? I don't know. A whoop is like 65. Tiny whoop means tiny. Yeah. It's cheating. Fuck that shit. That's... No. I'm telling you, once you fly in the house and you can turn your entire house into a freaking racetrack, you won't go back. 38.79. How is that possible? Yeah, you don't know your math. What are you drinking in there? No, it was 78. <laughs> 78.39. But, um... Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, the Whoop thing, I, honestly, uh, yeah, they're cool. They have their place. But I've got so many of these brushed little ones anyway. Yeah. And I'm not allowed, I would not be allowed to fly a Whoop in the house because my wife, trust me, I, I turned her fucking plants into a lettuce bowl. Uh, yeah, you know, so anyway. My kids needed haircuts. My kids got hit in the face. The wife got hit in the face. Every time she's sitting with a low-cut shirt, you know where I got to go. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I yeah. I got random. Absolutely. Kind of right there. So she's just used to it by now. So she, when she hears me go upstairs and start it up, she just compares. She can't, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when I want to, when I want to scare my wife and kids, my girls, I fire up like a hellbender with fucking gold cobras on it or something. You know, it's like, bam, they get in the car and they fucking leave, man. That's awesome. Yeah. You oh, want to yeah. see something cool? Yes. Okay. I know you're not into drones, and I, I have a a split personality. Well, a lot of personalities, but. Um, <laughs> I love my quads, I love micros, but I love drones. GPS drones, right? I have a, I have a unique Q500 Plus. You have a what? The unique Q500 Plus. The oh, thing yeah. the size of the freaking table with GPS. Yeah. I've done a bunch of videos and stuff on it. I love it. It's just, I don't find myself flying it, so it needs to find a home. Right, right. Uh, Blackhawk has a unique, actually. Awesome. But I've been... Awesome. I started in quads, um, the first bird I ever built from scratch, you know, not knowing a fucking thing, was a QA, this is, this is a really fucked up recipe right here, a, Q, <laughs> a QAV250 frame with, yeah. an, with an APM flight controller, full GPS guidance, mission planner, um, 
all that from scratch, right? So I've just, wow. I've, you've seen my drone stuff. I, I love drones. I fly my quads way more than I fly my drones, but EWOD, you know, is my, my channel's R2-D2. Um, and my drones are actually up there. Can't see them. But um, my buddy, I want and this video is going up tomorrow, actually. My buddy Warlock Hunter, if you see him on my channel, that's who this guy is. His name's Felix. He's in Florida. And he, he sends me a message the other day and he says, what would you charge or would you be willing? What would you charge to build a drone for me? Not a quad, yeah. a drone. And I said, um, nothing. Just send me the shit and I'll build it. <laughs> you love it. And um, you, did point out a neat, you did point out a neat thing that, yes, they technically have four props and stuff like that, but there is a significant difference between a drone and a quadcopter. Thank you. Obviously, because of the way that they're flown. And obviously, when you say the word drone now in today's society, it's so negatively frowned upon because every idiot that finally buys one that's got a couple bucks flies it over a state park for huge crowds, drops it in somebody's head because there's a plethora of that word. A plethora of stupid videos of a people crashing into buildings. Yes. It's just common sense. You shouldn't have to be bought in a damn store. I mean, it's it's horrible. People gotta if you got these things, they are dangerous toys and people gotta figure out how to buy them. They are. <laughs> they are. And and I am not and I'm, we're going to bring this topic up again in a second. Um, and, and I'm just as guilty as other people. I don't fly around people. I don't fly around cars. Um, but I do go higher than I should, you know. Um, but anyway. Is it the same out there as it is here with bike regulations? Yeah. You know? 400 feet. Yeah. Isn't it? Did you call and ask? Or is it 200 feet? Yeah, it's four. No, it's 400. Four. Here, it's 400 anyway. Yeah, it's four here too. I think it's four over in the UK. I think it's four everywhere. And, um, you know, and I, I hit four the other day, but it was thousand, you know, but, uh, yeah, FAA is going to be knocking on my fucking door saying, where's Rogue Geek at? We're going to fucking take him out. Anyhow, back to the point. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Cause I want to, I want, I want to talk to you about that. But anyhow, um, 4K in the UK, it's 400 that Matt said. Yeah. The Matt told me that the other day too. And Matt, Matt's one of my best friends, him and Nicola over there. Bam. Love you guys. Somebody, but, just, commented, somebody just commented on the rotor ride uh, guys yes. diving on a bridge. And that's what I want to talk. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. We're going to talk about that in yeah. a minute. And But anyway, Felix, back to the point. Felix in Florida sent, says, would you mind if, if you, uh, would you build me a drone? I want a GPS drone. And I said, yeah, just send me your shit. We'll do it. And, uh, and he also gave me, he gave me a couple presents to do it because he, he wanted to give me something. So one of those things, he sold me that Tyrannus uh, transmitter really cheap and it's br brand new. So he sends me this, he sends me, and you're going to see the video tomorrow. The video is coming up and um, it's not a build video. It's like, here's this piece of shit you sent me and here's what I'm sending you back. And I'm going to show you real quick. This is a sneak peek. Done. <laughs> That, my friend, is a bad fucking bird. Um, full GPS my enable. Really one of those. What's that? My buddy Mike has a frame like that that's basically prehistoric that if yes. you crash it would just explode. It looks exactly like that. And this will explode. And when I got it, when I got it in the mail, it had 15 amp Simon K ESCs. It had these little cheese wagon motors. It had uh a Naze 32 flight controller. That's what's in my store. Throw it away. <laughs> F1s, no. Anyway, so I told him, I said, I got a bucket. And he 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 sent some parts with it. I said, but get this, get this, get this, get this, and I'll, I'll do it. I built this drone. And, this, and I told him, I said, this is the worst frame you can have for a quadcopter. But it's one, of the, it's one of the best frames you can have for a drone. Because drones, you're not crashing usually and whatever else. And there's <laughs> plenty of room, right? And look at that. <laughs> Man, I built this in an hour and 10 minutes. That would take me a week. From scratch. And it's done. All I have to do is test flight and set it back. Bam. And uh, actually, when you and I uh, talked earlier, that's what I was doing, was finishing this uh, up. But... Nice. And I told him, I said, man, you just can, I said, I said, you want a teaser picture? I handmade the motor wires. I don't know if you can see those. Um, yeah. But yeah, the video is going to go up tomorrow. I'm going to say, hey, this is the piece of crap before. Bam, this is what's after. So 
You it's can like do it. Supermodels before makeup and after makeup. What is a yes and what is a no? <laughs> right, 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 right. So anyway, I'm going to switch over to you. The Road to Riot thing. Um, I watched that. There's two videos. Well, there's only one video that I was just like. I'm a guitar player, right? So, like, when I saw Strunz and Farah, Andre Segovia, these classical guys, or Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, and your jaws hit the floor because you're like, what the fuck are you even doing up there? There's a dude. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Name my son after him. Uh, there's a video out there. Did you see it with, with the guys flying around the train? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And he goes in the car and he goes under the car and all this other stuff. That is phenomenal. The Rotor Riot thing? Crap. Was it good flying? Permission would have been one thing, but I mean, you endangered, again, it was epic footage. It was dope. But if that thing hit, like I said, a hundred times, you know, bit, hit a wire and dived into traffic and landed on somebody's foot, my kids were in the car. I'm going to choke all those little motherfuckers out. I mean. Yeah. Well, and, there, and, and, and I, I said this to somebody the other day, and it Nerf, it's, Nerf was the guy with the train. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nerf uh, FP. Thanks to whoever wrote that. My bad. It went away. Yeah. Um, the, it's to me, the, these are fucking toys. That's all it is. You know, I got motorcycles on both ends of the garage. I got my girls in there, my, my career, my life, whatever, my friends like you. And I love my, I love my toys. Right. But I don't give a fuck. I don't, this is, this is the roto geek. You know me, I'm too, too fucking lazy to lie. I don't care about the, I don't care about the fucking hobby. I really don't. And I said this to somebody else the other day, and let me finish before everybody goes, you know, I love the hobby. But people are like, oh, you're, uh, I think it was my brother down in uh, New Zealand, Bruce, was saying, uh, this, you know, this could be bad for the hobby. You know, fuck the hobby. You could have killed somebody. There's a, you know, you kill a family of fucking five. And I've known people that have done it, unfortunately, that have been drunk and killed people or whatever. It's like, Fuck the hobby. I don't give a fuck about the hobby. If you said, okay, here's Chris's five-year-old daughter, what are you going to pick? Her life or your fucking hobby? Uh, her life. Okay. Yeah, no, because they need to have a problem with me. <laughs> right. Well, you, know, you you get what I'm saying. And yeah, no, I get you. It's like, fuck I mean, the I hobby. Mean, the hobby shouldn't even be part of that conversation. That, what the conversation should have been, one, Diving a bridge is gay to begin with. You can dive a tree, you can dive a building, you can dive bridges that nobody fucking drives on. It's you're just you diving dive a bridge. A Roto Geek can fucking dive a bridge. That's not impressive. Going in the train, that was impressive, okay? But if you're going to kill a family of five on their way to a picnic, you're a cunt. Plain and simple. Uh, I'm sorry. That's it. Put an explicit warning across this. <laughs> no, you're right. You know. If somebody complains about your footage that it's not that exciting or they, they don't watch the video because it's not doing that, I'm okay with that because I'm doing it because I love it. I want to share it. I don't need to go out and I don't need to go do some crazy shit and endanger people's lives to draw and describe us who we are as people and uh, the company we carry and the, the fun mods we do is what's drawn us to the channel. Your personality draws you. You don't need to go freaking do a damn bridge and danger people to That's you know, subscribe. It's not worth it. And what people don't get, and, and I am the master, I can build, it, it, this isn't a plug, this isn't ego, it's just, I, I'm a robotic engineer and I'm an electronics guy, I can build a full-size $500 supercopter in 45 minutes from scratch, like that. I do it all the time. I can out of the box in about three days. Yeah, it, it's not a big deal. <laughs> but I can trash them even faster, right? And I have, and people always oh, yeah. ask. People ask me this all the time. They're like, how do you know this? How do you know that? How do you know if it makes that noise? It's doing that. Because I fucked them up and that's how I found out. And what they, these fucking stupid bastards don't be, realize is that, yeah, you might be some great pilot, which I am not. But all it takes is one wire to fucking right. come off. I was sitting on the controller, anything simple, yeah. and your, game, your game's over. Yeah, I was sitting on an airplane one time, and I'm talking to this guy next to me, and we're joking around. I have kind of one of those life or death attitudes, and uh, I have seen, I've been to 17 countries and 42 states doing what I do for a living. I have been in aerospace, automotive, you fucking name it, in robotics. 
And this guy, this older gentleman and I are sitting on the plane and we're talking and I'm talking about aerospace stuff and he's talking about aerospace stuff and we're making these jokes about planes. And all the people around, because I told him, I said, people have no idea when you get on a fucking plane, one stupid little thing happens. Bam, you're fucking... I can't get my toaster and not burn my fucking toast and you're going to get an 80 billion country. You're fucking nuts. Like, right. I'll bring to that. You know, but anyway. And, uh, but that's all it takes. I had the other day, what was I flying? It was one of these, I don't know, Cerebus or whatever the fuck it was. I had a prop, <laughs> my, my, my prop bent... And I bent it back down, and I, and I went to go fly, and the fucking thing exploded. I think it was my headhunter, my headhunter, and it exploded. <laughs> Boom! That's all it fucking takes. That bird explodes, and it hits somebody's car. So yeah, I say fuck them, throw them in jail. You know who did it? I'll tell you right fucking now. And yes, I cuss a lot, but if somebody comes You're after right. me, somebody comes after me and says, "Oh, you fly too high." I go, okay, I'll tell you what, I will go to jail for 30 days for that if you take them constant, did that bridge dive and throw them in fucking prison with me. Damn. Yeah, because, there you go. Because I'll tell what you what. What would you have hit? What would you have hit? You would have come down and buried that thing 15 feet in the dirt because there was nothing but yeah. trees. Right. You would have never found it in a fucking crater. And where I fly, one of the things people don't realize, I'm not completely ignorant, is there are traffic highways for planes in the air. And I do study those, and I don't fly on those <laughs> those highways. And when I do a vertical test that people see me do, I go straight up and straight down. I don't fly three miles away. I don't do any of that stuff. Um, and it, I'm, I'm going for my mile high record, and then I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. But, yeah, like you said, what am I going to do? Kill a fucking cow? I'm not even going to kill a cow. Knowing me, I'm going to hit myself in the fucking head. Yep. You know, yeah. so anyway, <laughs> so what I'm saying about those guys is fuck them. That's what I think. I, 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 anybody, it's like I used to tell my guitar students, anybody can sit there for seven hours a day and get muscle memory and learn shit. If uh -huh. you're, if you're a phenomenal pilot, that's cool. It's fun to watch. I honestly don't watch them. Um, I've seen some of it obviously, but that's great. That's awesome. But, ah. Uh, yeah, I digress. Go ahead. It's not worth. It's not worth the risk, man. It's just not. No. I don't care what the footage is. It's not uh, so, worth it. so I thought it was fucking stupid. I really did. I, yeah. That's that's just my opinion. Um. I don't. You you just don't do that. I don't like if if I'm flying at a park, and there's a playground, and I'm flying, and there's a couple of my fly out like that, and I go way over here, and some soccer mom, that. huh? No, it's not, I'm saying yeah. they get rewarded for it and well, they don't care about people. Some soccer mom comes up and she comes up with her kids and they're swinging or whatever. And I'm, even though I'm four, like a block away, I pack up and leave because you've seen me fly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it stuck in her neck. You, it's in a tree. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I just don't. I, it's just, you know, I'm not. You got to you My name is not synonymous with safety, <laughs> but yeah, that's next topic. Next topic. Well, uh, you know, sort of on that topic because I did the bowling alley wolf last night. Uh, I saw that. I, talked to, I sure. talked to the owner and everyone was aware and stuff like that. And obviously there's a difference. You're not going to hurt anybody with it. And uh, same thing, you know, the battery goes when you, when you least expect it and stuff like that. So you got you to gotta plan. And I flew as far away from his people. It's possible. And there was a couple of people in one of the previous ones I've done where I messed with them and stuff like that, but they were aware. They were okay with it. And again, the thing was just big. Well, yeah, you're, uh, you're you're flying like the short bus of fucking quads, right? It's a weird. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's to you, Matt. That's to you. Matt, we're gonna get them, but we're gonna buy one for Christmas. You know that, right? No. We're going to force them. It's going to be like therapy. It's going to be one S wolf therapy. No, I'm going to come to fucking Connecticut with my headhunter, with my green cobras, and I'm going to eat your little tiny whoop and shoot it up. I'd yeah. probably cry because I'd love flying the shit out of it. He goes, yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> I can't believe he's still awake. It's like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning for him. Yeah, it's like 2.30, yeah. So, either way. Um, what else I want to talk about? You gotta make a list. Nah, it's better if you shoot from the hip. Um, 
What's your next project? Ooh, probably the storm. I'm thinking someday we're going to at least gut it. And then I've got it. Because it's got old school. You said that maze or that CC3 freaking board. Ooh, throw that away. Except, yeah, I'm going to shoot it. The 45 is going to eat it. <laughs> it's, an absolute, it's an absolute mess. And the thing flies like, after flying the fly egg, this thing flies like a tank. I took it to a field, one of the uh, fields we flew at a month ago, and it was so sloppy and all over the place. You would even swore I was drunk, not bone sober, but holy shit, I could not fly it. No. You try to flip, and that thing wants to keep going, or you dive, and then you punch it, and it's like an old car. It's waiting for the throttle to kick, and I'm like, it's Yeah. I remember when I, after I got the drone kick in the beginning, and I went to quads, you know, uh, normal quads, it, all there was was CC3D with open pilot, and... Yes, it was li Liberty Pilot. Open, no, no. Open Pilot came first, and then it came, it, then they, they abandoned it, and then they took it over as Libra Pilot. Yes, that's what it was. And then um, Naze 32 with Clean Flight, and it was terrible. It was just, uh, you know, when people talk to me about the shit, it's like, I remember that stuff. I did that stuff, and it was just like, ugh, shake, it was, shudder. It was cutting edge at the time, and now I want to throw up. Somebody said they're going to chip in the Bayou Walk. Yeah. Well, let's do, let's do this. Pop quiz to Chris. Where did the technology for quadcopters come from? I'm gonna. I would have to say at least military. I wouldn't know the exact spot, but I would have to military. The Nintendo Wii. I would say dildo next, but. <laughs> oh, I want to. I want to see that fucking chair you're sitting in. Um, that. <laughs> you do see a smile on my face, right? You're right. Hey, you know what I always tell people? No matter what mood I'm in, always one end of me is smiling. Anyway. Yeah, I eat a lot of tacos. I eat spicy food at least three times a week, so one end is extremely happy. <laughs> yeah. And they're, and they're never the same. It's not, they're not both in unison. <laughs> yeah. But you know the, um, oh, man. you know the, uh, and I've never had one. I'm not a video game guy, but uh, you know the Nintendo Wii where it's got those things? Yeah. Okay. Actually, we just picked up a projector. Uh, so we can do Wii outside. So when people come over for the kids, yeah. we'll have a 100-inch screen on the house so we can do Wii bowling and shit for the Sweet. kids. Those gyros in those things, those chucks, Yeah, that's where it came from. I still can't figure out how you can put a gyro in a, in a computer chip and it understands when it's level. I, I have no concept of how the fuck that works. None. Well, we can get into multi-secular electronics if you want. Bless you. No. <laughs> that's like been five drinks ago, man. No, that's, but they took I the, can't, I, that blows my mind. I mean, if that's where my mind goes simple. I have no coaching. Well, anyway, you know, <laughs> you, you've heard, you've been in quads long enough to know you've seen a uh, multi Wii in quads. Yes. Like, okay. The W I I is the Nintendo Wii. That's where it comes from. No shit. No shit. Yes. We just taught you something, kids. You're going to learn something today. <laughs> you had to throw an asshole barbell account here. I, I thought I was, okay, so I thought I was the only one that felt insulted or dumber after watching it because I went onto his channel before I knew you to learn something, and I felt insulted and embarrassed because I didn't understand what the fuck he was saying. You know, and then I saw, now, now that I've got you here, uh -oh. um, here's my take on barbell, all right? I think this one is exclusive kids. Yeah, and you know I've been pretty pretty lenient about Bardwell lately, and I think <laughs> I think he's he's helped a lot of people. I think he really has. Yeah, I agree um, with it. And I was not insulted with the whole "you're going to learn something today" because I'm a fucking I've been a robotics engineer since I was twenty. I'm not stupid with electronics, right? And I'm thinking, okay, I might learn something today. I don't know everything about quads. I still don't, you know. And um, I watched his shit a couple times, and I was like, yeah, okay. And to me, first, the voice got to me. I couldn't handle that. That was, you know, I'm, a, I'm an audible. <laughs> I'm an audible guy. But anyway, I watched one a little bit after that, and he literally said, almost verbatim, he said, I'm going to dumb this down because it's going to go over most of your heads. And I... Nice. I sat there and I thought, and this is, now here comes the ego. I do have an ego with certain things. 
And I don't think it's necessarily egotistical. I think it's confidence. I'm very, very fucking good at what I do for a living. That's why I do it for a living. And I'm thinking, you're a fucking RF engineer. I'm a robotics engineer. You really think that you have to dumb something yeah, down? <laughs> and and yeah. now my point to this is, I'm not the only one. There are people out there way smarter than me, probably watching his shit. And I was like, how fu I used to teach robotic programming. And in, in case any of you guys don't know what industrial robotics is, if you're ever watching a car commercial and the car chassis is coming down the factory line and you see all those robots on the side and they're going in and they're doing their, and sparks are flying, I'm the guy that makes those do that. That's me, okay? He's from Ohio, I'm from CT. Right. And so I'm sitting there, there's people smarter out there than me watching this guy probably. And it's like, really? I used to teach robotic programming. And it's like, I never walked into a classroom. Say, people would pay $2,000 a week to sit in my class and listen to me rant. That's where I get half of my nice. shit. And I never went in there and said, I'm going to dumb this down so your fucking dumbass can understand it. I used to say, I'm going to relate this in clinical terms or everyday terms that the Cartesian coordinate system does this and, you know, what? Uh, Absolute encoders are different from resolvers from this and whatever, you know. And it just I, hold on. I know where I, I know where I came from in this and how I started and I will always be the average Joe. I'm not gonna buy the million dollar quad, I'm not gonna spend a million dollars on this and that because I can't afford it. Me too. So why would I talk down to you if you try to you know, if you're trying to spread knowledge and help other people, if you're always looking down at people, how the hell are you supposed to help anybody? Yeah. And uh, I Here's, I learned a lot. Here's something, that, here's some good advice, kids. I learned a lot from teaching. And which is funny because I wrote the curriculums, I wrote the manuals, I, I did all this stuff. But because I had to spew it out every fucking day, I actually learned a lot. And I, some of the same things that I tell my guys on the channel, I used to tell my robotics students. And I would say, the smartest people in the world know when to stop, but they try. And what that means is, I, my channel 100% is for customizing and building quads. It is not pre-built, it's not go out and buy a fucking, I don't even know what the pre-built are, you know, whatever. Um, I want to encourage- storm was a pre-built. <laughs> well, no, that's okay. It was my first, you know? Yeah, but what, okay, wizard, say a wizard. If it's your first, Bird, your first one, buy a pre-built. I tell everybody that. I told Blackhawk that with a micro. I said, go out and buy a pre-built micro, then build your own. That way you understand the fundamentals of it better, and you kind of see, you have a reference of how somebody else did it. Okay, that's good. Right. Intelligent people utilize the resources. And this whole thing comes back to circle, where it's like, I tell people every day, I talk to people on email, YouTube, Hangouts and texting, literally all from my channel, every single fucking day. And I tell them, I was like, look, here's what you do. Here's the parts list, poof, bam, go do it. Build it until you get out of your comfort zone. When you get out of that comfort zone, call me. I will help <laughs> you, or Chris will help you, or whoever will help you. Yeah. But especially, especially me, I will definitely, I'll stop everything and help somebody out. And the smartest people in the world know two things. They know when to stop <laughs> and they know when to ask for help if they know somebody that knows where they're going. What I mean by that- I ask for help, just like asking for directions. I do it all the time. I, I, <laughs> hey, I've got a good job and a smoking hot wife. I've led, a, led an amazing life. My pride is in check, man. It's like I go to Walmart, if I can't find something, I'll go to the nearest person and say, Fuck me, can you find this? And guys, I am this way in real life. This is not a YouTube thing. This is literally how I am. And um, <laughs> that's why we're friends, bro. I'm the same way. Right. Why? That explains the name. You should hear me when I'm sitting. I am not quiet when I fly. I am screaming, I'm swearing, I'm hooting, I'm hollering. I forget my kids around me. The F bomb kids dropped out. I get slapped by a kid while I'm flying. 
Yeah, you shouldn't say that. I have to know. I mean, no. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. You know. Yeah, yeah. I. It's like I, I'm like Ozzy. You know, I can't talk without saying fuck. But I. <laughs> we just some guys on my channel had a had a conversation about how I cuss, and uh, I said that's why I put the fucking warning up. You know, if you're sensitive. I have had, I've got the best 600 people on the face of the fucking planet on my channel. You know why? Because they, they talk to me. 100%. I was telling Matt in UK, and you guys are all going to know Matt. We're going to make him, him popular. Because he's really yeah, shy, yeah. and he's a great guy, and he was in a car wreck today, so sad for he him. He sent me the pictures. I was talking to him before yeah. um, we started this, and he showed me the pictures of the car. Oh, right. oh man. The first thing I asked him was, was it Turbo? <laughs> there you go. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know where I was fucking going with that. That either way doesn't you're, matter. You were talking about how you're gonna make Matt popular. Oh. You want to get him involved in this? What was that? What did I said before that? I heard Jeopardy music. What are you talking about? Uh, anyway, next <laughs> next topic. Okay, I want to bring something up about you. Uh oh. Okay. I look uh -oh. at my. I have had a super turbocharged life. Okay. From the age of 20 to 43, which is the way I am now. And I started traveling around the world when I was 20. Um, I had a wife, a kid, and a mortgage at 19. My son's 23. I have two little girls now. And I've been all over the fucking world. I've done some amazing fucking things. Um, and, and I'm pretty extroverted, obviously. I'm not shy. I'm not, you know, whatever else. You, I remember when I first started watching you and we first met... And I watched some of your, your things. And I just absolutely loved it. Especially that morning rant. When they took the YouTube editor, <laughs> the YouTube editor away. That sold me. I'm like, this is my brother right here. I like this guy. And, uh, you know how hard I shot that like three times? I, I was up till three in the morning with a migraine. So I was cranky. I had bags under my eyes. and had no fucking caffeine. And then, and then I'm arguing with my damn self. Because I don't really like does this look right? Is the background good? What the fuck am I doing? And then I got so pissed off, I'm like, fuck it, just shoot it. Because that was, you know, I'm a simple guy. And the YouTube editor was just enough. And then I wake up, and then my little happiness sunshine is gone. I just lost my fucking marbles. <laughs> and I just said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put my face on camera and complain like a little bitch. And, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, my point being is, and you want to hear something really funny, a little, little JJ Roto Geek fact? I have never, and I swear on my kids' eyes, never stopped a video and started it over. I've done it. Never. My kids, my cats jumped on my lap, knocked the drone out of my hand. My wife's yelling it's dinner time. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Not oh, me. Now I, go, I, I pre warn her. I pre warn her. I, I, spent, I spent most, a big, big, big chunk of my life editing music. And nice. um, it's just, I, I'm an audio guy. I mean, I, I've got like, we won't even get into my studio, but it just do a video. Fucking hate it. I literally hit record, and then if I do stop, like when Black Hawk and I did the video the other day, I'll stop. Say we'll be right back, and I I, I start it up again. I literally just stitch them together and, and post it. I don't, you know, whatever. But anyway, getting back to my point, you said that you were a very I don't want to say introverted, but you I, said I, I missed. I'll tell you. I, I'll explain it. In a comfortable crowd around the people that I am, I'm the most loudest, obnoxious, explicit, pain in the ass, like a fly to a black light. If you put me in, like, my work setting and you put me around new crowds, I am the quietest human being with no confidence whatsoever. It, uh, it's, it's like night and day. Wow. It, it's, it's, um, you need Lexa, my bro. Goes, my wife shocked when sometimes she goes, you should love this. We're going here. And then here I am, the most clammed up, quiet human being on the planet, and she just can't figure it out. Yeah. Well, and here, I think that's, I, I said it a long time ago, when you and I first met, I said something like, um, and I said it yesterday, I think, in one of my videos, I said something like, you're my alter ego, and yeah. I'm yours, yeah. or something like that. <laughs> and I said, and I said a long time ago, though, when we first met, I said something about how we are congenial souls, and uh, I said, I don't know if that's good for me or bad for him, or something like that. <laughs> and uh, give you an example. Give you an example. I mean, you, I think a lot of people have this perception, and most people are this way when they're we're, when they're on YouTube or whatever else. They'll they'll put up kind of a front, or they're a certain way. I literally am this way, and uh, my wife just she's laughing all the fucking time. So I'm stupid, right? 
And we go to, um, we go on vacation the other day and we're, we're hiking through this canyon fucking thing. You know, it's all nature. You know, I'm from Chicago, you know, nature, what, you know, but, um, and it starts raining and we run to this, this overhang thing. And there's these two old men and these two old women. And we, here's my smoking hot wife and my beautiful little girls. And we pull up in there and we're hiding from the rain. And, um, I look at the guys and I was like, Hey, the, one of the women said, your daughters are so cute. Now these are complete strangers. And I said, you want them? I, <laughs> I was like, I've got a group on, I'll give you three chicks right fucking now. And my wife just glared at me. Right. And, um, I do that at the supermarket. Yeah, I do it too. And, um, and I always have like a quad shirt on, like I've got all these drone t-shirts and stuff. And, uh, the guy and I, they started laughing and my wife hit me in the arm and I said, what the fuck? What are you hitting me for? These guys are only going home with two crazy women. I'm going home with three. <laughs> I thought I thought it was funny. Yeah. But I just, your personality, I just never pictured you to be split like that. Whereas I'm like, the, I, I'm trying to remember if I was ever shy. No. It's not, I don't know. Maybe in my old age, I'm realizing that sometimes the loud, obnoxious Christopher doesn't always blend well with everybody. So try, I, okay, bowling. The last two weeks, I have been quiet, laid back, didn't drink really anything, and uh, everyone kept asking me, what the fuck's wrong with you? I didn't drink once. Yeah. <laughs> that was before family, that was before gray hair, that was before kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's weird, because I grew up, I, you know, I don't want to get all crazy personal and shit, but being small, being quiet, and being bullied all of my school years changed that. You know, it, it's, you don't want to offend people because it brings you back. You know, I'm boisterous now. I'll defend the person that's being bullied, but somebody will say something and it triggers that. And I'm right back to where like, holy shit, I remember that. And it's like work. I, my work is a fucking joke. I work in aerospace and all 20 something year olds are all the bosses yeah. and they're all friends. So there's this hierarchy of everybody that's clicked and I'm a 40 year old man. And I'm made to feel like a 16-year-old kid because they talk down to you. They make you feel like crap. They don't care that you got a family. It's all about chasing the dollar. It, it, oh, yeah. Like, like, all over again. Yeah. And it's such a pain in the balls. Automotive's worse, let me tell you. But I do a lot of aerospace, oh, too. Yeah. And what's funny is I started working for the second largest robotics company in the world when I was 20. And so I was, I was always the young, the young fucking guy. Always. But I looked older. I always did. I always looked like I was 30, you know. And now that I'm 43, I'm starting to kind of plateau where it's like, wow, I'm actually working with people my own age, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But I get, let me give you a couple pieces of advice, okay. Well, I started playing guitar when I was 10, I think. 8, 10. And I had stage fright, which is really weird because I've always been like this. Like, since I was three years old, I've been just like, you know, me. And, um, but when it came to guitar, I didn't want people to hear me. And, you know, it's like singing in public, you know, type of thing. And um, then all of a sudden, one day, it dawned on me. There's two things <coughs> that you and everybody else there watching that's a little bit gun shy about things needs to remember. Whether it's flying, building a bird, playing guitar, whatever your spice is. Two things. Best pieces of advice you'll ever get are right here. One, they didn't buy a ticket. Fuck them. Number two, <laughs> for every person that doesn't like you, there's 10 more that will. And there's a third one. If you walk in a place and act like you own it, most people think you do. So when that's in doubt, impressive. and that's one of those things that you do, you know, you have this 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 alter ego type of thing where it's like, well, I was bullied and this, that, and whatever. And then there's that certain trigger mechanism that snaps you back. Fuck that snap back. False ego, man. And then once you see how people, it, it, it's cliche, but people always used to say when we were kids, because you and I are about the same age, they used to say, yeah. people treat you how you treat yourself. And that is 100% fucking true. And it's right. just, when it comes to my career, I'm like Mr. Robot King. Everybody fucking knows me. I mean, you, you can go to Idaho, talk to some dude that has a Motoman robot or go to wherever, talk to guy. They know me. Everybody fucking knows me. 
and I am the guy, you know, and, but here's where the difference is between the ego line and humility is when I don't know something, I fucking ask and I, I'll, I'll look at somebody square in the eyes, multi-million dollar, billion dollar company CEO. And I'll look at him and it's like, fuck, I don't know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, and they used to charge a thousand bucks a day for me just to go in there and do my thing. And it was like, fuck me, dude. I, yeah, well, you're fucked. I don't know. I have no idea, you know, and people crack up and they might get stressed out, but they appreciate your honesty because it's like, it, it, it goes back to the Bardwell effect, you know. Uh, honesty is hard to find today. People are just so fake everywhere that finding somebody that will be honest. When somebody comes up to you and goes, I'm going to be honest with you real quick. Yeah. You know they're full of shit. What, you mean the last 20 years I've known you, you haven't been honest <laughs> I remember one time, this is the best. Be it, it, it's funny. I've got all these really funny stories, and people think I'm making them up to be funny, but this is actually the life I've led. I remember on a date, this is before my, before my smoking hot wife. And uh, I'm on this date with this chick, and we have been going out for a while. I can't remember who it was now. But I remember the conversation. And we've been going out for a couple months. And she said, she got all weird. You know, it's like dinner time. She's all like, all fucking weird. And I go, what's your problem? I am way, I, I'm too old and too lazy to beat around the bush. If I know something's bugging you, just fucking tell me, right? And she said some, some wishy-washy bullshit about how her last guy cheated on her or whatever else. And I said... <laughs> and I quote, I, saw, I looked her square in the eyes and I said, I will never cheat on you ever. And she's like, oh my God, that's so great. It's like, yes, I will just dump you. <laughs> and then I kept that's eating. You said that. And, and she said, that. and she's like, uh, I don't know if I feel better about that. I was like, look, lying takes a lot of maintenance and I have a horrible memory. I drink a lot. You know, it's like, this is what I do. And I was like, it takes a lot of maintenance, and I just don't care enough to lie to you. I, when I told my wife, my, my wife's been through hell. She's had a rough, rough fucking life. And I looked at her and I said, I treat like a business circle. Let, let's just, you know, I'm 40 years old, 38, whatever the fuck it was. I was like, the grass isn't green on the other side. It's a different shade of green. No two seconds, no two minutes, five minutes, no orgasm is worth losing my house, my kids, my car, just for that two minutes, because you're all crazy. You're just a different shade of crazy. I'm not going to run off with somebody else, you know, because her tits are better, her ass is better. That doesn't define. I, I'm, I'm a man with morals. I'm fucking whack. I have morals. Me too. Gonna, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't, on paper, make sense to go fuck somebody else to ruin your life. Here's one. I've got to tell you the story, and then we're going to shut up about this. This is the funniest fucking thing ever, right? Back where I used to live, and I, I, where I grew up in northern Indiana, which is where um, Zebra FPV is from, fam. Um, I'm very tiny area, right? I was raised on a lake up there. And so everybody knew everybody, and I was like the guitar player guy. I was the guitar player robot engineer, which is like, you know, weird. And um, I go to the bar... You know, and I have all my <laughs> friends. I got like 20 friends around me. And we're all sitting there. And I'm kind of like the leader of the pack, kind of, you know, mouth-wise. And I'm sitting at the end. And now I want you guys, all of you guys, especially you young fuckers, to, to pay attention to this. I'm single at the time. And I've got my one buddy on the left-hand side of me who's getting married. I got my other buddy on the other side of me who is married and his wife despised despises me, just fucking hates my guts, right? Because she's a cunt. And and I told and I told her that on a daily basis. But anyway, and then we've got these we've got these other 20 people around us, right? So I got a couple 50 drinks at me, whatever, you know? And I, I look over to my buddy who's engaged. And you young guys, I'm telling you, Pearl's here. I look at him, he's a great kid. And his fiance is not there, but she's a cool chick. And I told him, I said, you know, I got I got my drinks in me. And I told him, I said, dude, no matter what, every fucking woman's crazy. I said, no, I didn't say it. I said, they're all the same. That's right. I said, they're all the same. And my buddy over here with his cunt wife, who hates me, she like slams her drinks down. And she's like, that is the most male chauvinistic, sexist thing I've ever heard. And I looked at her and I looked back at him and I said, you know what? She's right. And then the whole table went silent because they knew something was coming, right? 
And I said, there is one difference between women. And he goes, and she's already turned to red, dude. She's like, ah, I'm going to kill you. And I said, the difference is the chronological displacement of how crazy they are. Now, what that means is everybody started freak, you know, everybody just kind of stared at me because they're all drunk and nobody knows what this means. And I said, what that means is the nice ones show you they're crazy right away. The mean ones take about two years. Once when, you say I do. <laughs> but I, I remember thinking that I'm the same way as you, bro. I'm like. I, I can't even barely handle one woman. Who the fuck wants two? Really? I'm on wrong two. That's it. Yeah. I was married for 10 years before her. This is it. This is it. I was married for six years. Um, I got married in 94. Got divorced in 2000. Uh, high school sweethearts, where we divorced well. It was it was all good. It was mutual. No big deal. Same here. And then I stayed single till uh, five years ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So... Your I, loves you. I found an absolutely smoking gorgeous, smoking amazingly nice, beautiful human being with no baggage, and she was willing to marry me. So fucking, you know, she puts up with this, and that's something I want to ask you. And this is probably where we're going to end this. I had a friend of mine um, in South America, Bruno, I think, on the channel. We talk almost every day, and. Uh, I think it was him. Brother, I'm sorry if it's not you. It's I'm bad with things. <laughs> and he, he asked me, he said, does your wife enjoy and do quads with you? Yes, I remember this. Did you see that? Yes. And I said, <laughs> I said, luckily, my, my, my wife has, she missed my guitar era. I mean, I still play, but I'm not in bands anymore or anything like that, uh, which women hate trust me you know you meet a chick and they're like oh my god you're the best guitar player in the world i could listen to you for days and like three weeks later they're like are you done yet you know type of thing and um <laughs> i told him i said he, he's like he said it in broken english so it was really funny he's like does your wife enjoy your hobby with you and support you or, or, or just do you enjoy it and do it with you that's what it was and it's i said i said absolutely not um my wife <laughs> God bless her. I, 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 I've shown pictures of my wife to my friends, you know, because I always call her my smoking hot wife. And one dude called me out and he's like, let's see the smoking hot wife. So I put up a picture and it's like, yeah, you're right. Um, and I said, it's not the fact of what she looks like. She's just the most amazing woman in the world. And uh, I said, you know what? She's living the heart. I start, I start talking quads and her eyes glaze over because it's such a huge part of my life. I got Black Hawk, I got all this shit and all the people I help. She yells at me, we'll walk to the store, we'll through a park, and I'm like, baby, we can shoot that gap. And she's like, we're walking down the road, we can walk, shut the fuck up. I'm like, I'm like, if I flew in the supermarket, the taco aisle, the favorite aisle, I can dip through this and do it through that. She just pulls her eyes and keeps walking at this point. Yeah. But she supports it because she knows how therapeutic and how happy it makes me. Yeah. You know, I don't know where I'd be without it. And my, my wife, my wife went to photography school, right? And she's a professional photographer. So my life is like literally every three days is a family picture. Okay. And so if it's a nice day out, she's like, oh, go change. And we're going to take the girls. And we're going to go do a family picture. So I come out with a quad shirt on and she's like, go change, you know, but I told this guy, I said, I said, no. My wife gets motion sickness. She can't even watch my flights on YouTube because it makes her sick. She can't put on goggles, oh, you know, nothing like that. And because um, he said, oh, I wish I had it in front of me. He said something like, <coughs> um, he goes, well, a lot of women don't like their men to have fun and take time away from <laughs> them and whatever else. And I said, you know what? My wife read an article and I'm always home. I work from home. And I travel, but I work from home and I'm home a lot. And I spend tons of time with my girls and tons of time with my wife. So it's not like I'm going to work till six o'clock at night, coming home, doing quads till right. 10 o'clock at night. I'll work at my desk in the house for a while. I'll go burn a quad and then I'll bring the quad in and do it on my desk some more. I'll help somebody out on hangouts and, you know, whatever. And, um, and I said, uh, my wife read an article that said, you know, one of those women chicky things. It said, if you are married to a guy who's a tinkerer, who tinkers a lot, he's less apt to cheat on you. <laughs> I froze. And, and that's, all my, I that's, that's all my wife needed. She was, she was like, tinker away. Go, you're good. You know, have fun.
Bro, I lost your picture. Well, sorry about that. No, we just got to talk. Hey, we your wife's picture right there. We can show the whole world. There, there you go, guys. Hey, that works. Either way, <laughs> we've droned on long enough. We'll just... Yes, my my video is still working, so my channel is going to be better than yours. Yeah. Yeah, so... I still run it, too. <laughs> well, All right, guys. Well, a whole lot of useless nothing, but hopefully it was fun. Love you. And uh, keep trying to side up. Thanks for watching. Please comment, let us know what you think. We'll see y'all soon. Yep. Take care, kids. Bye. Peace.